Mr. Campbell, you are in paternity court today to prove that the defendant's three-year-old daughter, Zoe, is your child. You claim that her mother, Ms. Hopper, told you that you were her father, but now she's changed her story. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You want the DNA test to prove what you know so you can be a father to your little girl. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Hopper, you claim to be certain that Mr. Campbell is not Zoe's biological father. So, Mr. Campbell, why is the DNA test so important to you? I think it's time for me to find out if Zoe is my daughter or not, if she deserves to know who her real father is. And she keeps flip-flopping, saying one day that I am, one day that I'm not the father. And uh, being the father of Zoe, it's given me a reason to, like, continue on the right path. When you say it keeps you on the right path, you've been making better decisions... Yes. ...since you felt like you've become a father. Yes, Your Honor. And you don't want that taken away from you? No. So you say Ms. Hopper told you that you were the father. Yes. And then changed her mind. Yes. Every time we get into a fight, all of a sudden I'm not the father anymore. So when you're doing fine, you're the father. Yeah. Then when you get into an argument, you're not the father. Yes. And so now we're currently stuck on not the father. Yeah. So, Ms. Hopper? I only told him there was a possibility. I've never told him that he was the father. That's not true at all. That is true. That's he knew true. that it was between him and my ex-boyfriend since she was like six months old. Did she tell you from the beginning, Mr. Campbell, that it was you and possibly the, ex the ex-boyfriend? No, at first, uh, she told me not to worry that it wasn't my daughter. That it was not? Yes, that's when she was pregnant. After she had the baby, when the baby was about six months old, that's when she told me that uh, I could be the father. And like every time, because I FaceTime her on Facebook, and she has Zoe call me daddy. I've never made her call her daddy. She does that by herself. Well, she does it by herself because she thinks that's her daddy. Her, the, my ex-boyfriend isn't in her life. So let me understand, what, 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 what is this relationship? What, were you all boyfriend and girlfriend? Yes. You were. And then what happened to the point that y you get pregnant by maybe your ex or maybe Mr. Campbell? I was actually seeing both of them at the same time. Um, and... So this wasn't a cheating thing, this was a parallel thing. Pretty much, yes. Okay, what, what, this is what we want the truth, go ahead. Um, and I just kind of thought maybe it was both of them. The day that they say she was conceived, I had seen both of them at the same time. So it's Same kind time, of, same day? Same day. <laughs> oh, same time, same day. <laughs> oh, okay. So you had sex with both men in the same day? On the day you believe she was conceived. Yes, Your Honor. That's Your what Honor. we call a paternity issue. Your Honor. Yep. Um, Mr. Campbell, did you know that she was also seeing her ex at the same exact time she was dating you? I had no clue. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, he did. Did you know no, that she had also not. slept with the ex on the same day she slept with you? No. <laughs> okay. So that's why we're here. How long did you continue this parallel affair? Um, for about a month. And then I was with my ex-boyfriend... Um, he was pretty much there through the pregnancy. He was there. Your ex-boyfriend? Yes. So he went to doctor's appointments? Yes. Um, and I did give him her last name, and he is on the birth certificate. I want to understand the flip-flopping in terms of paternity. You told Mr. Campbell, don't worry, she, she's not yours. Mm -hmm. Then you said, she is yours. Then you're saying now, she's not his. But Zoe calls him daddy. What is going on? Um, when she was younger, when she was about six months old, she did look a lot like him. She had a lot of, like, you know, she had really big cheeks. She was really chunky. So she did have a lot of futures of him. But now she looks a lot like my ex-boyfriend. So you're just looking at the child and you're telling him yes, you're telling him no, you're telling him... I've only told him that there's a possibility. I've never the... told him that he was the father or anything like that. She just told me that I was the father. That's what made me believe, you know? You've brought uh, your mother as a witness. I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please stand. State your name for the court. My name is Joni Campbell. Miss Campbell. 
Thank you for joining us. Ms. Campbell, were you ever told that your son was the biological father of little Zoe? Yes, Your Honor. I was contacted on Facebook. She let me know that she believed my son was the father. And um, I have some proof of it. Oh, I'd like to see that proof. On July 23rd, I received a friend request on Facebook and I said, hello, you requested me. Please remind me how I know you. She says, I'm Elaine. I'm Jason's ex. I'm the one who thinks he is the father of my child. Oh, okay. And I said, okay, nice to hear from you. <laughs> and she said, she said, thanks. That was cordial, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we, we began to talk and, you know, we had a conversation and everything, and I did ask her, I said, you really believe he is the father? And she said, my daughter looks like him. He is really the only possibility. Ms. Hopper, now, you just testified in court that you always maintain with Mr. Campbell that he was one of two options. Why would you tell his mother that he's the only possible father? When I contacted her, I said I thought that he was the father, and... Um, that's why I said, Well, I the think... message reads, my daughter looks like him. He is really the only possibility. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. If you're telling him that he is just a possibility, but you're telling his mom he's the only possibility, what, what is the story? Your Honor, I've given him chances to take a DNA test, and he refused to do it because it was a girl he was with. Oh. So... Did you refuse the DNA test, Mr. Campbell? Uh, yes. You did? So why bring her to court today? I mean, you refused the test? I'm just really ready to find out or not. I wasn't in the right state of mind. You weren't prepared before. Yeah, and I wasn't matured enough Your to Honor, take full responsibility. The only time that I ever heard from her is right before the birthdays and right before Christmases. And that's the only time that she would even try to contact us. And we had, you know, a good communication going back and forth. She would even send me pictures of uh, Zoe, you know, with the birthday presents and stuff. So you believe that she was contacting just to get presents? Well, I, yes, yes, ma'am, Your Honor, I do. Uh, not only that, you know, we had this conversation going on, and then all of a sudden I started noticing on Facebook how they had uh, other men. She was claiming other men to be the father. Where did you see on, this? On, on Facebook. What did on she say? Facebook. She was just claiming how someone, someone's dad and talking about different paternity tests with other men. And then I was even seeing... You were talking about paternity tests on not, Facebook with other men? There has not been a paternity test for her at all. Oh, Your Honor, she has told me that she got a DNA yes. test for the other possi possible father and that he wasn't the father. Is that true? That That's, is not true. You told me. We, that. me and Cindy, you never told him that, or you didn't do it. We didn't do it. I've never told him that. So, yes. are, are they just making this up, Miss Hopper? I do. I've never contacted her around holidays. Her sending presents was for her. I've taken care of my child by myself since she was born. You know, I don't need help from anybody. I, I mean, if she's cool, if he, if he's the father, I'll let him be a father. You know, my daughter needs a father, but at the same time, I don't need his money. Your Honor, I've seen other women on her Facebook claiming, you know, talking about being the grandmother. What? You know, I didn't appreciate all these other women that, you know, claiming to be the grandmother. What is your relationship with Zoe, Miss Campbell? I have never met Zoe. Really? Really. But she's been Only in Oklahoma since... quite a few times and has never asked to meet Zoe. Your never son has done video chats. You've established a relationship, am I correct? Yes. She calls you daddy. Yes. Why is it your mom hasn't had the opportunity to meet her yet? We live in different states. When she first contacted me, Zoe was almost a year old. She was right about a year old. And I was pretty concerned. Why didn't you ever contact me before? And she let me know, uh, well, I've tried, but uh, my son's, Mr. Campbell's ex had blocked all the information to where we could contact each other. So when Zoe was a year old, then she contacts me and we start, you know, having a conversation and she would send me lots of pictures of Zoe and, you know, constantly saying how she believes that Zoe is, is Jason's. So now um, what? Mr. Campbell's. So you're just saying now, Miss Hopper, it's because of his, uh, because of her appearance now that she doesn't seem to look like Mr. Campbell anymore. You've changed your mind. 
I mean, it sounds like you were working to I develop never, a relationship. I never changed my mind. I mean, there's still that possibility. But she, I mean, she looks like a lot. And she has his facial expressions. He, she has her nose, his eyes. Is the other man in her life? And um, he takes her like once every four months or so. It's kind of when it's convenient for him. Your Honor, out of the blue, she, she sends me a message uh, telling me that my son is not the father and calls me uh, old and tells me to leave my, to tell my fat kids to stay out of her life. Oh my that, goodness. That, and at that, that time was... I blocked her and that's why we haven't had any communication. Your Honor, that uh, was not me. And he actually blocked Jason and his family off of my Facebook. So that was not me who contacted her like that. It was on her, it was through her Facebook. It was through my Facebook, yes, but it was not me. It didn't say, you know, anyone else it was by. When I see it, I see her name from her Facebook cussing me, calling me names and, and my children names and threatening us, telling us, okay. telling me that I need to tell my son to take the pictures of Zoe off his, uh, off his Facebook or there was going to be hell to pay. Okay. Yeah, I, um, Your Honor, I had Zoe as my background picture on my Facebook and I was not going to take her off no matter, no matter what anybody said, but I kind of had to. I was going through a, um, court issue for getting full custody of my daughter. Okay. And with her being on his background, it was kind of hard. So I had to remove that to be able to get full custody of her. Okay. You brought a witness, ma'am. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand. State your name for the court. Brittany Hopper. Ms. Hopper, you are? Her sister. Her sister. All right. Please tell the court, um, what do you know about this paternity issue? Um, I know that... I've been with my sister the entire time. I was the only one that actually stood there full time. I've only met Mr. Campbell a couple times. When it comes down to it, when she says that they were sleeping with them both, I was in my own world then, and I don't ever remember her being with two people at the same time. She like just that. admitted it in court. <laughs> yeah, but I, yep. I think that when it comes down I to it. I don't think she'd stand in open court and admit <laughs> that she had slept with two men in one day. <laughs> well, even if, if it she weren't did, true. even if she did, she was with with her ex a lot more than she was Mr. Campbell. But it only takes, it, don't, it only takes one time to conceive okay, a baby. Yeah, and I have a child because of only one time, but when it comes to, I just, I don't think Zoe belongs to him. Well, I think all, all right. All the confusion, Thank you so much. You may take a seat, ma'am. All the confusion, Your Honor, you know, I mean, it's been, it's not fair to us and it's definitely not fair to Zoe. I mean, no, I know how isn't. confused I've been. I can only imagine, you know, how, con how confusing, you know, it is for Absolutely. her. Absolutely. She's three now. She mm -hmm. calls your son daddy. She doesn't know you, no. her grandmother. No. All and then there's another guy that comes and gets her every, once every four months. I don't know who she thinks he is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who does she think this guy is? Um, she kind of goes off and on. She calls him dad. Oh. We've got to get this straightened out for this little girl. I think it's time to go to the results. Jerome. There you go. Do I need to sit down? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Campbell versus Hopper, when it comes to three-year-old Zoe, it has been determined by this court Mr. Campbell, you are not the father. I'm okay. sorry. I know you really wanted to be her dad. Mm -hmm. Ms. Hopper, I wasn't sure where you were in this equation. I could never get a read, but I do see tears in your eyes in this moment. What are you feeling? Uh, I don't know. I was kind of hoping that he was. Yeah. yeah. You felt like she looked like the other guy, but you kind of just were hoping that he was. <laughs> Do you feel like the other gentleman will take more of an active role in her life in terms of picking her up? Yeah, I doubt it. Okay. Mr. Campbell, you went over and you hugged Ms. Hopper. Can I ask you what you said to her? That's all right, nothing's gonna change. That you still wanna be there for Zoe? Yes. She's a beautiful, beautiful little girl. 
Ms. Hopper, you were very honest, and it took a lot of courage to just say, yes, I was dating two men at once, and yes, I did sleep with them on the same day. Now you need to go forward. You have Mr. Campbell, you have his mother. They seem like they will be very supportive to you, and yet, this little girl has her biological father out here in the world, and it's going to be up to you to try to at least establish some type of communication where he can be a part of her life. And Mr. Campbell, I want you to know that I want you to keep doing the right thing. When you spoke earlier in your testimony about how much being Zoe's father meant to you and how it's helped you begin to make better decisions and you said it helped to change your life. But it's up to you now to understand that that little girl is still counting on you to stay on the right path, right? Ms. Bruton, you claim to be 100% positive that Mr. Martin is not your son's biological father because your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Richardson, is. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you say today's DNA test will allow you to get rid of Mr. Martin and to finally reconcile your relationship with Mr. Richardson. Is that yes, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Martin, you say Ms. Bruton led you to believe that you had fathered her seven-month-old son, Logan. You claim Ms. Bruton kept kept the baby from you in hopes that she could build a family with Mr. Richardson and not you. Yes, Your Honor. Today, you believe the DNA results will prove you are the biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Bruton, why are you so sure Mr. Martin is not your child's father? First of all, Logan looks just like Anthony. They have the same ears, eyes, nose. And he don't favor Mr. Martin at all. So... That's why I'm sure. Just by looks alone. Yeah, by looks alone. But, Mr. Martin, you disagree. Yes, because I know I had unprotected sex around the time that she conceived. She might say I didn't have it as many times she said I did, but I know, I know it's a fact. No. And it's 99.7% no. no, Your Honor. That it, that it is mine. No, Your Honor. We only had unprotected sex twice. No. That's it. Your Honor. Twice. Your Honor. In my twice. apartment, twice. Your Honor, it was three at her apartment, two at her family member house, one at my house, and one in the car. The you know it only takes one time anyway. Yes, yes, yes. it only yes. takes All one right. time. So, you say this is your child, Mr. Martin. Yes, Your Honor. And you know that for certain. Yes, Your Honor. In the court papers, you say she led you to believe it at yes, first. Yes, How did she lead you to believe that? Because she called me and, and said she was pregnant, so, you know, I was, I was happy and stuff. And then, like, after two weeks after she told me, she just, like, disappeared. I ain't, I ain't answer my phone calls, I ain't do nothing. Then... So you're saying she called you to tell you I'm pregnant and you're the father yes, at first? Yes, yes, at first. Did you call him and say I'm pregnant and first, you're the father? First of all, I called both of them because I wasn't for sure who, you know, who was the father because I slept with both of them around the same time. Okay, so you do admit his yes. testimony is true. Yes. Take me back. I want to understand this relationship. So, how do you get to the point where you're in a relationship with Mr. Richardson, but you're having sex unprotected with Mr. Martin? Okay, well, me and Mr. Richardson, we was having our ups and downs in our relationship. And so, when I met Mr. Martin, I confided him as a friend, and then our friendship grew into a sexual relationship. But it was nothing more than that. I, my heart always been with Anthony. All right, so you were always in love with Mr. Richardson, yes, but Yana. you ended up cheating on him yes. with Mr. Martin. Yes. You also did not use protection. Correct. All right, and so you knew you were just the go-to guy, Mr. Martin, or did you think you were in a relationship? Nah, I was just the go-to guy. So you knew that? Yeah, I knew that. I really wanted me a child at the time, so, so I was trying to get her pregnant, and I did tell her that. You were trying you to get were somebody trying to pregnant, get pregnant that you didn't want to be in a relationship yeah, with? Yeah, but I didn't want to be in a relationship with her. But you were trying to get her pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. So you just gonna go out and just make a baby with anybody? No, not with anybody, but, but, that's I, gotta what you're get, saying? but I gotta get to know you, though. Okay, but you... <laughs> You're not even in a relationship with her. No. no. Nor do you want to be in a relationship. No. no you're but not. you're going to go make a baby. You want to purposefully make a baby with her. That's what yes. I'm saying. And how old are you? 19. 19 years old. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Martin? Really? That's just irresponsible with a capital I. <laughs> anyway, at some point you realize you're pregnant. Yes, ma'am. You say you call both men. Yes. Because you know... Because I knew if one of them had to be the father. All right, so when you went to the doctor and confirmed you were pregnant, did your doctor give you a window of conception? Did they yes. give you a date? Yes, April the 8th. 
April the 8th. Mm -hmm. All right. When you were intimate with Mr. Richardson, mm -hmm. that's who you claim was the father, right? Yes, that's who I know. Do you remember when you were intimate with him? Yes, yes, Your Honor. April the 7th. Okay, so very close to... Yes, very close. What? So that's Richardson. Mm-hmm. Now, I have to ask you, when were you intimate with Mr. Martin? April the 10th and April the 11th. That's it. So, so oh, wow. True. So yes, it is true. true. We so only had true. sex listen, twice. Listen, that's so not true. You're, you're disputing those days? Yeah, yes, what, yes. When yes, do I'm you not say disputing. you were intimate? Before the seventh, it was like on the fifth, maybe. That was the first That's time. That's you're saying, saying you were I'm intimate with her before and after this yeah, date before, of conception. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, let's I'm... just be certain. Before what she... she has already testified to puts you in the window of conception, regardless. Yes. So, in many ways, you in there. Yes, Your Honor. You are a possible father yes, of this child. I don't so... know who he think he slept with more than twice, but it sure wasn't me. We only had sex twice. So, at the point that you find out you're pregnant, you call them both, mm -hmm. you're honest, you say to both of them that there could potentially be... I didn't tell them about each other. I just mm. told them that I'm pregnant and... Oh! So you didn't tell the other man no, that I there was another... I, I had to keep it a secret because I was in love with Mr. Richardson and I didn't want him to find out about Mr. Martin. Mm. If you were so in love with him, why was we having a sexual relationship because... when you was with him? That's no, that's no, that's no way of showing love. Because that, obviously, me and obviously, Mr. Richardson was having our problems, doing Your right? Honor, if you, and if... I didn't feel any love and attention from Mr. Richardson, so I got it from Mr. Okay, Martin. Okay, then, that means you wasn't in love with him. Yes, I... Oh, you were just saying you were in love. That doesn't mean anything, Mr. Martin. So who stepped up for you during this pregnancy? Mr. Richardson. Really? Yes, I was trying my best to avoid Mr. Martin because he's very messy, trying to break up our, me and Mr. Richardson's messy. relationship. I didn't... And I but when Mr. you Rich told him he was a potential father... Yes. Wait, Mr. Martin, did you try to be there? Were you trying to go to... Yeah, he and tried, she... but I've tried at to... No, I wasn't hearing it. I wasn't did. At first, she did. She, I, I was trying to do that. But then, after, after them two weeks, she just disappeared. It was like nothing else. Where did you go? She just well, I was just, the phone. I just wasn't answering the phone. Uh, every time he would come see a family member of mine, I wouldn't be around it because I didn't want to see him or have nothing to do with him. I was worrying about my pregnancy and being with Mr. Richardson. So you admit in court today that you purposefully just really shut him out. Yes, I did. Because you wanted want the relationship with, with Mr. Richardson. Yes, mm. the one and I love. And after two weeks, you disappeared. Yes. I did. You just faded to black. But yes. Miss Bruton, once you faded to black and you admittedly cut Mr. Martin out of the experience of being present during mm -hmm. your, pr your pregnancy, even though you said to him you are possibly this child's father, what happens when you give birth? Who's at the hospital? Mr. Richardson was at the hospital. I have no idea where Mr. Martin was because we wasn't in contact with each other. And who signed the birth certificate? Mr. Richardson. I didn't even let Mr. Martin know when I had Logan. You didn't? No. You didn't think he had a right to know that the baby was coming when it no, potentially because... could be his? No, because I wanted Mr. Richardson to know all of that. I didn't want Mr. Martin to know none of that. Because I don't want him to Just be self. Logan's father. Just so, so you allowed Mr. Richardson to sign the yes. birth certificate because you think he's the father or because you hope he's the father? Th I think he's the father and I'm hoping he's the father. Both. So now he's yeah. legally responsible for this child. Yes. Not when Mr. you Martin. sign a birth certificate, you are acknowledging paternity and you are taking responsibility legally for this child. And now you're in paternity court <laughs> with another man that says he's also this child's father, and the reason why he believes that he is because you to told be his him. Father, because he wants kids so bad, but Logan is not his. That's why I want he him to know. He most definitely is. He, he is. Okay. Why do you think she's denying that I mean, you are Logan's father? I mean, I, I really believe that she's trying to hurt me deep down inside. But so I, is it about hurting you, or do you think it's about just keeping the relationship with Mr. Richardson? Both. Mr. Richardson, I want to hear from you. Please stand. Step up to the podium. Do you believe you're Logan's father? I know. You do? I feel that way, yes. When did you realize that there was another man in the picture? Because she says, I didn't tell Mr. Richardson about Mr. Martin because I didn't want him to know. I actually found out four months after Logan was born. Really? Yeah. So when you're in the hospital, you're thinking that without a doubt, this is my child that's being born today. Yes. And that's why you signed the birth certificate. Yes. But it wasn't until four months after this child was born that you found out about Mr. Martin? 
Yes. How'd you find out? Well, one day we was um, sitting out one morning and she came out and told me like, oh, I've been sleeping with Mr. Martin. You, you know, at the time of- That's not exactly but, how it went, Your Honor. How'd it go? I had suspicions of Mr. Richardson cheating on me. <laughs> and so when I felt like he was hurting me, I decided to hurt him to get back at him. So that's when I- came and told him that it's a possibility that Mr. Martin is Logan's father. Nah, you had suspicion of me because of things that you do. Miss Bruton, you playing these men like a game of chess. <laughs> <laughs> so, once you hear that, Mr. Richardson, what was your response? It really tore me up. You know, because I've been with her, you know, throughout that pregnancy. You know, been there, signed a birth certificate and everything, you know, held him in my arms, you know, doing what I know the right thing to do for a child that I know that's mine. I mean, he looks just like me. His eyes, his head. I know that's my son. Look at that head. He looks just like me. You can't deny it. Just like my family member when he was born. What family member? Brent? Explains Martin? itself. He looked just like me. My baby picture of him. No. Let's just be frank. Let's just call it like it is. At the point a woman says to you, I was intimate with another man during the time I conceived Logan. I did it. He could potentially be the father of this child. Doesn't some doubt set in? Have you ever just said to yourself, this may not be my child? Yes, it did. But more so, he is my child. Yeah, he is your child. You know, well, under the law, he most certainly is, because you, know, you signed the birth certificate. Yes, because that's right. Even if he didn't sign the birth certificate, Logan is so still Mr. Matter. Richardson's son, because I know for a fact. I just know. You don't know. Yes, I do. That's but Mr. Martin is standing here saying that Logan looks like him and one of his family members. <sighs> Honestly, Your Honor, do, do Logan look anything look like Mr. Martin? Look at that lip, he got my that lip. Bottom lip. That he bottom got my lip. lip. That Those lip. are my lip. That bottom lip. That's Ms. me right there. Ms. Bruce, That's my son I, right there. You know, I, I completely understand how you want to stand in court today and just say I am positive that this is Mr. Richardson's child because you've made it clear yes. that you don't want to be with Mr. Martin. You never have. You've always wanted to be with Mr. Richardson because that's the man you love. Yes, Your Honor. And you purposely cut him out. Yes. But there's this little smirk you doing. And this little smile, I I'm hoping it's out of nervousness and not out of your failure to appreciate the severity of this situation. Because ultimately, <laughs> this is really your fault. Well, and, and, and look, everything that has happened here today is a product of your intention. You didn't just slip on a banana peel and end up in the bed with Mr. Martin Honor, by accident. Your Honor. You're saying all of this is pur it's purposeful. And that disturbs me. Well, Your Honor, I'm human. So, so what I mean, I'm saying I'm, is I'm once make you... Mistakes. Look, when I see you kind of smirking and laughing, it, it, it irks me. It only because does do that because Mr. Martin no, no, no. thinks he's the father. That's but, the only but reason Ms. why. Miss Bruton! Of course, Mr. Martin thinks he's the father. You well, told him. Well, I wish he would him. get it out of his head. You told oh, him. Yeah, I was. told him, but when Logan came, Logan don't look nothing like Mr. Martin, so I know it's Mr. Richardson. And son. now you're here and you're saying you're 100% yes, positive. positive. That Mr. Yes, Richardson. you just want to mess up our it. family, Mr. Martin. I can yes, you do. I, can less about her I just wish I you would just back up. Oh, well, okay, Miss Bates, let me understand this. Let me understand this. Are you annoyed by him because he thinks he's the father, or are you annoyed but, yeah. by him because you think he's trying to break up? You and Both. Mr. Richardson. Both. I'm annoyed by him because he thinks he's the father. I'm annoyed by him because he's trying to break up what me and Anthony got. I know that's my son. Okay. We'll see. All right. Ain't no way. All right, I think it's time for the results. Uh, I'm done. No way. I don't see it. No way. That's my son. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Mr. Richardson, I have to ask you this. If he's not your biological child, are you going to stay in the relationship and try to make it work? And right now, I really can't answer that. You know? Really? I, I really can't. Really? Because we, we, have, to, we have to sit down it's, and really... You put, see that, Miss Bruton? You know, and really It doesn't feel to, too good to be caught off guard, does it? No, and, and be put... No, because you didn't expect that bad. answer. No. You didn't expect that answer. No, I didn't, yeah. I know. I could see it in your eyes. All right, these results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Bruton versus Martin, as it pertains to seven-month-old Logan Richardson, 
And as to whether Mr. Richardson or Mr. Martin is the biological father, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Richardson, you are not the father. <gasps> what? Mr. Yes. Martin. I told you. What? I told you. You are the father. You. I told you. I knew what it was. No, no, that, that, is, not that, that is, is not possible. That is not possible. That is not possible. I knew this. I knew this. Uh-uh, I want to be Mr. Your Martin, Honor, you are the father. No, no, so, so that we, is yeah, not we need, possible. We need, we, need, we, need, we need to get something He don't look nothing with, like with him, the, so how is he the father? Ms. Bruton, I realize you thought you were playing a game of chess, but the DNA is not a game. You cannot... You may be able to manipulate a man or two men, but the DNA does not lie, sweetheart. Mr. Martin is your child's biological My son. father. H and Mr. Richardson, I have to say, I'm very sorry because I knew you did not see that coming. No, I did. I'm very sorry, Mr. Martin. I have to say to you, congratulations, because I know you truly wanted this child to be yours. <sighs> and Baby Logan is, in fact, your biological child. Yes, sir. I don't believe that. You don't want to believe it. That's all it is. You played the game so hard, you played yourself, baby. I can't believe this, man. I can't believe this, man. I don't know what man. to say. Miss Tillis, you are back in my courtroom today for a second time. Yes, ma'am. So you're saying, Miss Tillis, he was jealous? Yeah, I of would what? talk to my friend on the phone. Okay. What friend? <laughs> my friend from years before him. Why were you on the phone with him, living in his house, and that's your boyfriend? Thank you. Why am I looking at your phone and you got nude pictures going to your ex? Why you ain't with that ex? <laughs> well, now you say Mr. Jalik is denying your six-month-old daughter, Jayani, because he is confused and delusional. But you have no doubt, you say, that he is the father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jalik, you say Miss Tillis has demonstrated questionable behavior. And until you are given 100% proof that you are the father, you cannot and will not fully commit to claiming Jayani as your biological daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Tillis, tell the court, why are today's proceedings so important to you? Because the last time we were here, he denied our two-year-old uh, son, and I'm here today to prove to him that he is Jayani's father. It's very important to me and him, and I just want the inconsistency to stop, the him being hot and cold with Jayani. If I have to be a full-time mother, then he needs to be a full-time father. He needs to be there the same amount of time that I'm there with them. And you're feeling frustrated because this paternity question is allowing Mr. Jalik to be on and off like a faucet. Yes. Sometimes running hot, sometimes running cold. Yes, Your sometimes Honor. Sometimes just running. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, what is your current relationship status? What's going on between the two of you? Most part, we're co-parenting, but my definition of co-parenting is we don't have any dealings with each other and we take care of the kids. It's strictly about the kids. Yes, you this all are not co-parenting. You're just co-parenting and co-mingling. Yeah, cohabitation. And cohabitating, <laughs> yeah. too? You yeah. living together? Yes. Lord, all right. Next page. So, Mr. Jalik, can you take me back? What was going on in this relationship when baby Jayani was conceived? We wasn't together. I was out of state during June and July. We wasn't even vibing. Yes, we so were. So, you got what back. she so did was, Your the Honor... The end of July when you got back, I mean, the end of June when you had returned, we started messing around because everything went back to being cool with, his, with, with us. That wasn't June. That yes, was in July. Yes, it was. All right, hold on. I'm, listen, listen. Mr. Jalik, you submitted a calendar to the court. Yes, I did. I want to go over that. Please step over to the podium. Tell the court what is outlined in this calendar. What's outlined in red, Your Honor, is the time that I left and went out of state to visit family to go into the 4th of July holiday. During this time in red, 
I was not in the same state as uh, Ms. Tillis. June 24th to July 5th. I was out of state with family. All right. So What's here, next? Between the time in the red and the time in the green, my son's birthday was here, July the 29th. He turned two here. So the week before my son's birthday, I guess you can say we cooled down, we kind of re reconciled our differences because his birthday was coming up. So we may have had sex the week before my son's birthday. Between the rest of this, the red and the black these days right here, we weren't even dealing with each other because this was me out of state and right before his birthday, she called me like, is it gonna be drama if I let you know, you know, come to where he at? I'm like, it's, it's about him, it's not about us right now. So here is what me and Ms. Tillis may have had sex, the end of July. All right, so. And what I have here, Jayani was born April 1st. Okay. 2019. Tell her what my due date was, though. I don't know. Uh, she was not premature. She was not born a preemie. She was full healthy on April the 1st. So when I did my calculation, I'm like, wait a minute. If I was out of town during the end of June coming into July, you don't know and she was born healthy on April the 1st, the time frame don't add up. That means you, you was already back. pregnant. Yes, ma'am. That would have put her, her winter conception up here around the time I was, I wasn't even in the city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Without I feel a... like it puts it right around the first week, early part of the second week of July. Had to be. And her... you were gone. Yes, ma'am. Basically, her conception date, if I'm the father, should have been back here somewhere to give it a full nine-month run if she's not a premature baby. If the doctor's saying she carried, she carried this child a full term, then you telling me you got pregnant in July and boom, it's straight nine months later, you drop on the 1st of April, it don't add up to me? And she's full term. Yes, ma'am. Mm hmm All right, thank you so much, sir. You may step back to the podium. So, Ms. Tillis, what is your response to this evidence? I got pregnant with her the end of July. So, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, and then April. You know, and before then, before he left out of town, I wasn't messing with anybody, so I don't care what he's talking about. So outside of the conception day being off to me, the calculation not adding up, I picked the phone up from my son, because he was like, that dad, that dad, and I picked him up and sat him in my lap. He had a phone that's open. I directly went to her gallery. In Ms. Tillis's photos, you have a picture of a month-old, fresh newborn, which is right here, and one of her ex-boyfriends cropped together in her phone. The baby ain't even 60 days old yet. Why is you cropping a picture of my daughter with your ex? Uh, that's a great question. And I told him, I was on the phone with my sister. You know, like, I could say, oh, you look Don't like... Don't none of that make sense. I could be on the phone with my brother, but I ain't finna crop no picture of my brother's child if and put I'm, another person my on sister, it. If... Come on, now. If so, my sister... Just tell us, if my this sister, does if, seem a little odd. If, I mean, what, what, what Honor, possessed you... If my you... sister is not there for me to be like, how does she look like this person right here? So I put so the wait picture a of them on, together on, and I on. sent it to my sister. Hold on! You going on and on when I say hold on does not give you any more credibility. It just makes you look like you making up a bunch of nonsense. It's not not them test results. The truth is... Nonsense. No, the truth mm -hmm. is right yeah. now in this moment, you have a very real issue that you need to be honest enough to deal with. If you gonna align another man's picture up with your newborn baby's face, you are obviously trying to prove or disprove something. Yep. Either way, it's problematic. Very. I guess. <laughs> but she is... We should not be here. The picture is the problem. If you feel like she's not yours, why come over there and hold her and say, hey, dad, dad, and kissing all on my baby, acting cool with her one minute, and then when me and you get into an argument, it's you just talking to our son and you'll ignore her. What, what are you saying? Miss Tillis, Mr. Jalik has expressed that he has doubts. But what I don't understand is when a if man walk had... through your door and deny your baby, how you still laying down with him? You say you still sleeping with him. If you feel like she's not yours, why do this with her? Why do that with her? Why, why say little stuff? If you feel like she's because not I'm yours, still why grown, do all this Because I'm still stuff? a grown man? Right. This is, this, this is, we know for a fact 
she's Jadis' sister. Well, we're trying to figure out if I'm Jayani's father. So whatever I do with Jadis, I'm gonna do for Jayani. So she don't feel nothing but unconditional love for me. I'm a, I'm a boy maker, period, point blank. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so, Mr. Jalik, you only make boys. Yes, ma'am. Lies. Because we've heard yes, that said in our courtroom before. All I make is NFL and NBA stars. <laughs> That's all I make. <laughs> That's it. That's all I produce. And scholars. That's it. And scholars. And scholars. And scholars. And scholars, too. So, so, let me be clear. How many children do you have? Four. So you have four boys. Yes, ma'am. And you believe you only make boys. That's all I got. So do you have any other evidence to support the fact that you just make boys? I was told a long, 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 long time ago You're by a family member... Right. ...that that's all I was gonna ever make because that's all I was producing. And I believe it wholeheartedly. So the fact that here come out of nowhere a curveball, which is a beautiful blessing right here, maybe she is, maybe she not. And again, the last time I was here, I told you honestly, the mom is a little friendly. At the end of the day, there are a lot of men who come into this courtroom and assert they only make boys. This is what they do. So if it's a girl child, they couldn't be the biological father of a girl child because they just make boys. And so this court wanted to understand more and understand if this is in fact true and based in any type of real science, biology. So we would like to talk to Dr. Samantha Brown Parks right now. Jerome, will you please escort the doctor into the courtroom? Yes. I want to find out if this is possible or not. And let's get down to the bottom of this once and for all. Hello, doctor. <laughs> See, y'all ain't the only one that can dig for facts. Okay. Hello, Dr. Brown Parks. Hi, Judge. Thank you so much for coming back with us. So, we have a situation where Mr. Jalik is claiming that he only makes boy children. So, therefore, beautiful baby Jayani cannot be his daughter. And I want to understand, is it possible for a man to only create one gender of, of, of offspring, of child? So, let's go back for a little biology lesson. Yes, let's go. Women are double Xers. You got two X chromosomes. Men are an X and a Y. So that means, statistics being statistics, that it's not over time or over the number of children that you have, but every shot is a 50-50 shot between an X and a Y that he's gonna contribute. Is there ever a, a situation where a man's Y would outrun the X or the X would outrun the Y? So there's lots of theories about that, and there have been all sorts of studies, and these studies look mostly at family trees going backwards. So there does tend to be a tendency in family of boys to produce more boys. There's no hard evidence, there's no gene that's been associated, but that would be more reflective of your family that you come from, meaning you come from a family of boys, rather than you producing multiple male offspring. So, what we're really learning is this notion that a man can only produce one gender is a myth. Indeed. Hmm. Don't count out. I drink my prune juice and lemon juice, so that, <laughs> that helps me create boys, is what I'm saying? Prune juice and lemon juice, all right. <laughs> we learn something new every day in here. And don't forget pilka juice. That's good, too. Pickle juice is a natural remedy as well. A natural remedy for what? Just keeping yourself tight and right. <laughs> but what does that have to do with producing boys? See, I can't, I, I can't go... It's a Southern thing that we was taught way, way, way back. Way, way back. I got time. What is it? It's... <laughs> if you combine pickle juice, prune juice, and lemon juice, you produce more boys? Yes, ma'am. Those three juices? I've been running down through there, y'all. I ain't got nothing but boys. <laughs> Have you ever heard of this, Jerome? Not lately. You heard what he said. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like what I'm saying. You got to have deep southern roots. I mean, it's, it's not for the, 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 you know, city. It's, it's country. Well, my family from Columbus, Mississippi. I ain't never heard of such. <laughs> Y'all should know. <laughs> <laughs> All should right. Know. They left me out of that intel. Well, yeah, because you're a woman, though, Yana, so it was for the boys. I am obviously not a scholar. I didn't say that. But I will say this. I'm only, I'm only kidding. Sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying. You just got to take a minute and just laugh. It's been so tense. 
I will say this, that we really do have some very real stakes today. You know, I've listened to you guys go back and forth, and if you're able to go back and forth in this way and pretty much not agree on one thing for the last 36 minutes, I can only imagine what it's like at home. Oh. <laughs> no, really. Yeah. I understand, so let's Yana. get the truth for this baby, and let's figure out where we go from here. All right? Yes. Jerome, I'm ready for the envelope. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Tillis versus Jalik, when it comes to six-month-old Jayani Jalik, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jalik, you are the father. <laughs> you got your first little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you you have must to have switch. drank a different smoothie <laughs> that day. Go oh, have to switch up your juice. Yeah, so I'm uh, mm -hmm. proud. You know, like I said, I'm human. You, you show me a new month, uh, a newborn that's supposed to be mine, and she cropped with another ex. I mean, that's gonna be. We know why anybody. you had doubt. We're, we're, that's the past. I'm what I'm looking at I is. Told you. Listen, listen. I'm not going back over that. I'm sick of hearing y'all argue exactly. back and forth about nothing. Uh, the baby is don't his. Have you have been vindicated again, Miss Tillis. This is his child. What are you gonna do now? Same thing I've been doing since she was born, April the first. Be her father. Be in and out, cause that, I'm done with that. Be That's her gonna father. Have to stop, Mr. Jalee. You have. You're a man with a lot to say. You're a man with a lot to say. <laughs> You know what they and about that. you seem to have answers and reasoning for everything. You produce scholars, so I am going to speak to your intellect and your intelligence right now. Yes, Your Honor. You know this woman want to be with you. 